You know what really makes me grumpy? Video game purist logic. And before I officially start, yes, I am very aware that this applies to more than just video games. I just know video games best, so that's what I'm sticking with. Okay, so you're just about to play a game of Super Smash Bros, but this isn't the best Smash Bros. That's actually Super Smash Bros. Melee. But you don't have Super Smash Bros. Melee. Well, you don't want to play Super Smash Bros. wrong, so you go out and you shell out like 80 bucks for it because it's apparently worth a lot now. Actually, it's just Nintendo, so they just like to charge a lot. But yeah, so you go out and you do that. Well, then you start it up on your Wii. Oh wait, that's not the right way to do it. Even though you have a GameCube controller, you're still not playing it right by playing it on your Wii, so you go out and get yourself a GameCube, which is also another 100, possibly 200 something dollars. Okay, we're all set here. We got the GameCube, we got the game, we got everything we need. Just gotta plug it into this TV. It's a bit newer, but it's got the right plug, so it should work, right? Nope, you're still wrong. You gotta get yourself a CRT TV. So now you go out and look for a CRT TV, which... Well, that can vary in price. It just depends on where you get it from. So you find one, you get it, and you're all set. But is it the right kind of settings? Is that the right kind of CRT TV... Do you see where I'm going with this? This is ridiculous. You shell out all this money, potentially, just to play one game the quote-unquote right way. Now, I will admit that when it comes to the TV situation, playing older games on older hardware does look a little better on CRT TVs. But if you don't have that, it's not a huge deal. It's more of a if-you-compare-it-side-by-side -side type of thing. You're not playing the game wrong this way, you're just playing it differently. Oh, but the purists think you're playing it wrong if you don't play it exactly how they play it. Okay, how about this scenario? You're wanting to play Super Mario World, but you only have the remake of it on GBA, and while that version is nice, you kind of want to play the original version. Well, luckily, you have a Wii U, so you can get it on there. Or get it on a 3DS, where you get to take it portably. Both versions cost around $8, so that's a pretty good deal, right? Well, not for a purist. Well, now that you're following the purist logic, you have to go out and find yourself a copy of the original game on Super Nintendo. And you also have to get yourself a Super Nintendo. But you see that they cost a bit much, so you try to look elsewhere to find a better deal. Luckily, you have a friend who happens to have a Super Nintendo that he or she doesn't use anymore. And they also have a copy of Super Mario All-Stars with Super Mario World in it. And they give it to you for a really cheap price. They're not in like perfect condition, but they work. So you got everything you needed, right? Well, if you're a purist, no you didn't. You don't have a copy of Super Mario World by itself on its own cartridge, therefore, you're not doing it right. Okay, that last part was a bit of a stretch. I don't actually know anyone who has actually said something like that, but it wouldn't surprise me if someone was that way with it. Anyway, the whole point is, if you try to follow the purist logic, you're going to end up spending a lot of money just to play a little game that you kind of decided to play. Sure, their way may end up being the best way to play the game, but it's not always the most convenient for everyone. If the purest route is the way you want to go, then go for it, but if you just want to play the game in general, no matter how you play it, then you're not wrong for doing it a different way. Now, of course, there are some versions of games that are so bad that you should probably play the closer to the purest way. I mean, it's still okay if you prefer these versions of these games, it's just... It wouldn't exactly be recommended. No, I'd be lying if I said I've never had any kind of purist logic, or at least close to a purist logic, because I used to have PlayStation pride. But luckily, that has worn off. So I can confidently say, it's okay if someone buys Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy or Spyro Reignited Trilogy on anything that's not PlayStation. Heck, if Ratchet & Clank went multi-platform, I'd be okay with it. I mean... It would feel kind of weird at first because they've been PlayStation exclusives longer than Crash and Spyro, but I'd still be okay with it as long as the games were still good. As long as, say, the Xbox version was just as good as the PlayStation version, then I wouldn't mind playing it on Xbox. Either one would be fine. So, yeah, uh, I made my point long ago. I just wanted the video to last longer. Anyway, if you're a purist listening to this, don't attack people like I'm attacking you, just because they want to play a game in a certain way that's not your way. If the purist said something like it's the most recommended way, it's the best way to do it, then sure, but when they tell you you're wrong for not playing their very specific way, that makes me grumpy.